Is it now the RSS versus Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the Prime Minister's Pakistan policy, on the government's Pakistan policy? Days after the Prime Minister's successful visit from the United States, during which Pakistan was visibly isolated by world powers, the Prime Minister is under attack, not from the opposition, but from the RSS itself. A top RSS leader has raised serious questions over the Narendra Modi government's diplomatic initiative with Pakistan, saying they failed to resolve issues between New Delhi and Islamabad, but more saying what does the Prime Minister hope to achieve and is, the, and is Pakistan equally keen on peace with India? Speaking at the launch of a journal, top RSS leader Dattatre Hosbule said, Prime Minister Narendra Modi flew to Lahore on the 25th of December in order to improve ties. What was the result? Modi's Lahore visit was only followed by the siege of Pathan Court. What's the reason? What's the reason for the Prime Minister's trust in Pakistan? There hasn't been an inch of progress in resolving issues between India and Pakistan despite multiple rounds of talks between the two countries. The angry RSS leader said Modi's outreach did not match Pakistan's anti-India and anti-Hindu sentiments. And I have Rakesh Sinha, RSS ideologue and leader who joins me on the broadcast. Mr. Sinha, is the RSS taking on the Prime Minister now, taking on Prime Minister Modi's Pakistan policy? No, first you have to understand the occasion. It was the launch of a uh, quarterly general published by India Policy Foundation, Pakistan Watch. This is the first general in, in, in a country or in the subcontinent, uh, subcontinent on Pakistan. So on that occasion, he just underlined the sincere efforts by India, Indian government and India uh, ever since l l last three and four decades to have relationship with Pakistan. And uh, it is the Pakistan which has always sabotaged all the sincere efforts. So underlining the sincere efforts of India and questioning the Pakistan sincerity does not mean that RSS is questioning the government's efforts. It was just, he was tracing just the history of Indo-Pakistan relationship. So there is no question. I think that even the government spokesperson speaks the same thing when they said that Pakistan is sabotaging Mr. The Sinha, effort. this goes beyond that. Dattatre Hosbale said, Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi 25 December ko sambandh sudharne ke liye Lahor gaye lekin natija kya nikla sambandh banane ki koshish mein ye bhi dekha jana chahiye ki aakhir dusra paksh kitna ichhuk hai so he is saying the prime minister took an initiative should he not see whether the other side that is pakistan is keen on peace with india so what gives india the confidence to have peace in, to have desire for peace in pakistan or that pakistan wants peace with india sir no, the RSS leader just mentioned that uh, how Prime Minister was making sincere efforts. But the other side was not responding the same way. This was the, uh, the, the context was that there is a fragmentation of political power in Pakistan. The sovereignty of, there are many claimants of sovereignty in Pakistan. And he mentioned also, these claimants are political power, military, Malwid, and militants. So there are four claimants. These are the four claimants who are sabotaging any efforts of India-Pakistan relations. Moreover, the basis of Pakistan, the very basis of nationality of Pakistan is hate India. So it is the Indian effort to, to have a good relationship, a peace in the subcontinent, but Pakistan is not responding. So, so underlining the history of Indo-Pak relationship, it has nothing to do with the current situation or RSS is questioning the government. RSS is an independent organization. It so has is the right, RSS it and has the every, government... It has every right to comment upon the pa Pakistan, Pakistan's uh, sincerity. So th there is no... Uh, RSS does not speak always the government over Government has its own efforts. RSS has its own opinion. But is the RSS on the same page as the Prime Minister on the Pakistan policy, Mr. Sinha? No, we, we don't need to have the same page always, but we have our own opinion about the Pakistan. The Pakistan, uh, Paki, uh, as in the magazine, it has been mentioned by Tariq Fateh. There is a very good interview of Tariq Fateh when he says that Pakistan is an idea, not a state. Pakistan is, uh, is not a state, and it, I, I also mentioned that Pakistan is a nationless state. So Pakistan has to achieve many things. And uh, unless until Pakistan achieves the uh, nationhood, I think Pakistan could not achieve the nationhood because its entire basis of uh, 
ज Uh, not just not on the same page gorav uh, there uh, you know it appears to uh, it, it, it it appears like there's a certain degree of frustration within the rss now you can't just dismiss uh, datatre hosabale who's a very senior leader of the rss he's a joint secretary of the organization uh, you know a person who's uh, you know more visible than many of the other leaders of the rss actually coming out and in a an unusually candid way saying you know uh, narendra modi went uh, in december to pakistan but what has happened the pathan code attack happened right after he visited uh, you know you need a certain amount of trust uh, uh, you know uh, you you're, you're investing a certain amount of trust in pakistan but what have you got from them absolutely nothing hostility uh, you know their, their their diplomatic animosity towards india even more recently as far as the nsg is concerned all of that is on full display repeated terror attacks uh, diplomatic uh, hostility on every single world forum uh, you know uh, as as far as india is concerned so what you've got a very senior leader of the rss uh, saying is what is all of this really amounting to prime minister modi who had attacked the upa government at one point of time for its own overtures as far as pakistan was concerned is now falling prey to the same kind of situation that's what the rss appears to be su suggesting and the tone and tonality the choice of words got of used by hosabale in this particular instance uh, appears to suggest that there is a degree of impatience and a degree of frustration that is set in as far as the sang parivar is okay. concerned Stay and yes. the nda government's pakistan policy. Stay with me. Let me also bring in Congress leader Manish Tiwari, former INB minister, who joins me on the broadcast. Mr. Tiwari, what do you make of the RSS now questioning Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Pakistan policy, sir? Well, at the risk of uh, sounding a little impudent, if not amusing, uh, it is uh, gladdening to see that the RSS is supporting the Congress position. on the complete inefficiency and the failure of this government qua pakistan essentially what this gentleman whosoever he is has said today is exactly what we've been saying for the 20 uh, last 24 months and saying it to you gorov you know who understands strategic affairs very well that this government does not know whether it's coming or going on pakistan so uh, mr sinha you agree that one thing appears very apparent the government's investment in pakistan the prime minister's personal investment in pakistan hasn't yielded results and now the rss is, is now questioning the the prime minister's investment in pakistan what is it that the rss expects of the government i am surprised to listen mr manish tiwari he has easily uh, conveniently forgotten the history of uh, nehru government and the congress government their policy towards pakistan it is this government that compelled pakistan to have some kind of maintaining peace at the border you just see for the last 6 7 months there is no violation from pakistani side there is no uh, there is uh, no cross border firing this this so that pakistan is being compelled by in, in indian authority in indian indian uh, pakistan i am not so sure authority. mr sinha pakistani no, no. terrorists are are engaging no, indian that, security that, that, forces no, every I, day we had an yeah, encounter yeah, just yeah, today yeah, larger, some with local question. terrorists some with foreign terrorists mr sinha no, la, yeah larger question is that the pakistan policy must be guided by keeping a holistic approach you, you cannot have pakistan policy in a, in a, 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 a tit bit and ad hocism so the, i think the government is making sincere effort my rss leader that time also said that we want good relationship with pakistan but pakistan has never been a sincere uh, has shown sincerity this is the fact this is the history everyone is tracing that history and everyone is agreeing then why time, is the prime minister uh, uh, investing so much uh, in it isn't that the question that the rss is asking no, and, and the next next thing i i i i, I had raised one question which congress had never raised that uh, at that occasion it was raised that by the uh, number of hindus in pakistan after 1971 the population was 15% that has been reduced to 1.6% This Congress government has never raised this issue. For the first time, this government is welcoming the Hindus uh, from Pakistan, those who are coming in India, giving the citizenship. 
So I think that well, they But is the RSS asking Pakistan. this question of the Prime Minister? Did the Prime Minister raise this question when he went to Pakistan on December 25? Uh, you know, uh, when he wished Nawaz Sharif happy birthday, did he raise the issue of Hindus in Pakistan? That I don't know that 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 it is it is it is to the government to say that. But uh, uh, our policy is clear that those Hindus are we who are being victimized and being thrown out. They must be given citizenship. BJP and RSS were demanding for the last 20 years. Now this government is giving them citizenship, giving them a respectability and dignity. They are finding some land. They are not, not uh, people not with uh, people with no land. This was the, during the Congress regime. I think that. Uh, these are the issues which this government is addressing and RSS has its own opinion about the Pakistan and we have our opinion, we have right to have our opinion about Pakistan. Uh, we believe that Pakistan lacks sincerity to have a good relationship with uh, India. If the uh, basis of nationality is anti-India, anti-Hindu. Manish Tiwari would agree. If he, he, if he doesn't agree, this means he is not sincere. No, no, let's is get Manish Tiwari. Mr. Uh, Tiwari, would uh, you want to respond uh, to Mr. Sinha? Well, uh, Mr. Sena has unfortunately swung from the sublime to the ridiculous. And so let me answer it one by one. First of all, <coughs> in the year 2014, from the May of 2014 till almost November of 2015, you saw unprecedented activity on the line of control at the international border. In the previous 10 years, from 2004 to 2014, there has never been such uh, heavy activity from Pakistan. Number two, I can, if uh, you give me the liberty of time, I can actually recount every U-turn, somersault and 360 degree uh, flip which this government has made on Pakistan from inviting Nawaz Sharif for their coronation on the 26th May to suspending the talks with the foreign secretary at the foreign secretary level over the question of the high commissioner interlocuting with the Hurriyat then without any rhyme or reason or any change in Pakistan's position, getting into that agreement in UFA. And even before the ink had dried on the UFA agreement, you had a situation whereby both India and Pakistan at the level of the foreign minister and their national security advisor were playing verbal kabaddi with each other. Then you had the NSA going to Bangkok. What he did in Bangkok, nobody knows. Then you had the prime minister going to Lahore. What the prime minister did in Lahore, nobody knows. In between, you had the attack in Gurdaspur. Then you had the attack in Pathan Court. And now there is absolutely no relationship at all. So therefore, when uh, the BJP or the RSS talks about a policy towards Pakistan, nobody has been able to articulate what that policy is. Okay, stay for, with for me. The simple, no, no, uh, Gaurav, allow me to complete. For the okay. simple reason that neither do they have a policy and neither do they have tactics. And now on the question of Hindus also, let me enlighten Mr. Uh, Sinha. In the October of 2012, uh, or rather the September of 2012, this matter was taken up by the External Affairs Standing Committee. That External Affairs Standing Committee at that point in time was headed by Anand Kumar. As he may be aware that a parliamentary standing committee is a multi-party fora, there the question of the plight of Hindus was discussed and the officials of the Ministry of External Affairs who came to depose before that committee okay. categorically said that yes, we are uh, granting citizenship to Hindus who are being persecuted in Pakistan. And this is all a matter of record. Okay. If Mr. Sinha wants, he can go and check it. Okay. So I also, you know, the BJP wants to respond. The BJP wants to respond. And I have Nalin Kohli uh, of the BJP who also joins us on the broadcast. Mr. Kohli, it's not just the Congress. It's even the RSS now that's asking questions about Prime Minister Modi's Pakistan policy with Dattatre Hosable saying the Prime Minister went to Pakistan to improve ties. What has he achieved? What gives India the confidence to know what does Pakistan want, uh, Mr. Kohli? This is going to take a few minutes. So I heard a rather long uh, exposition from Mr. Manish Tiwari. So I'll put across the whole thing. I have not heard Dattatre Hosboleji's comment. But just to remind anyone who is in this country, we are in a democracy and I did not know that if anyone had a point of view and if anyone had a question that amounted to some sort of reason. It doesn't. If there's a point of view, that is welcome. Now let's come to the question here of what the Congress Party is criticizing. Sir, let's it come to the question of what the RSS is yeah. criticizing. Yeah. What the yeah. RSS yeah. is criticizing, Mr. Kohli. So the Mr. RSS Tavan, is may, criticizing the Prime Minister's Pakistan Mr. policy, Tavan, sir. If I may also just remind you, I heard very patiently what the Congress Party has to say. 
I'm sure you will give me the same indulgence of at least being able to put across a point of view, unless there is only one particular point of view you are seeking. So if I may continue, I said, Dattatraya Osbole ji has asked, raised his point of view, and I don't see anything wrong in that. With regard to Pakistan, no one in the government, the BJP or elsewhere, said things are perfect. But have there been attempts? Yes, there have been attempts. Have those attempts borne full fruit? Not yet. Have they borne full fruit ever in the history of India and Pakistan since 1947? Certainly not. So those who were 55 years responsible for policy with Pakistan have to answer also for okay. the omissions and commissions. Okay. But let me now come back to the substance of what I was saying. And within that, a lot of things will get answered in any case. In 2014 is an important inflection point. Because as the Congress point of view is seen, everything was flawless up to 2014 May. Then the people of India being dissatisfied with an absolutely superbly performing government on foreign policy. Economic Sir, policy, we are now going round in circles. Mr. Mr. Kohli, I will have to interrupt you for a moment because Rakesh Sinha joins us once again of the RSS on the broadcast. Mr. Sinha, before we let you go, is the RSS on the same page as the Prime Minister, especially when it comes to his investment in Pakistan in terms of relationship with Nawaz Sharif and his Pakistan policy? There is no, there is no, that, that is not necessary that RSS and government should be on the same page. So you're not on the same page? No, 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 that, that not necessary, that is not essentialism of any moment. Government has its own compulsion, government has its own policy, RSS has its own perspective. RSS is an independent organization, it has right to suggest the government, it has right to have critical to the Pakistan policy. But at the same time, I, I just uh, give you the perspective, in, in that, okay, uh, that occasion, Mr. Dasta Treji, said that we need a good relationship with Pakistan, yes. but Pakistan lacks sincerity for the good relationship. That is a fact. Nobody can deny. And a uh, uh, last sentence to the Congress, a message to the Congress, it is the Congress which created the monsters of Pakistan. It is not BJP and RSS. We are fighting the monsters created by Congress, Nehru and their successors. Mr. Rakesh Sinha, Nalin Kohli and Manish Tiwari, for the moment, many thanks for joining me on this. We will continue to track developments on the story very closely.